okay yeah. yes so uh potential divide let's discuss the first one potential divider rule so potential divider rule uh, let's say this is this high voltage and here we have lots of resistor let's say i am taking three resistor so this resistor is r1 this resistor is r2 and this resistor is r3 supply voltage is vs voltage across this resistor is v3 voltage across this resistor is v2 and similarly this one will be v1 okay so uh, if you want to find v3 okay so instead of going like this uh, apply the kvl instead of applying that that laws or instead of applying the ohm laws okay you just use this this formula that your v3 mm -hmm. your v3 that's will be equal to v out uh, sorry v source voltage times the resistor okay so here we have r3 resistor divided by sum of all the resistors so r1 plus r2 plus r3 mm. similarly if you want to find v2 then that will be equal to vs times resistor of v2 that is, is r it, is it ratio so r3 uh, let me write it down r3 divided by r2 divided by r3 equals v3 over v total yes you can write it like this yes you can write it like okay. this okay yes but mostly in books you will see this type of equation okay yeah. yeah okay so similarly v1 you can also write the equation like this okay now let's come towards the another uh, rule that is the current divider rule let's say we have a current and this is the current source okay here i have one resistor here i have another resistor current in this case is i1 current in this case is i2 yeah so uh, and the current of this is source current okay so if you want to find and the resistor is r2 this resistor is r1 if you want to find the uh, r uh, i2 then you will use this current is times the other resistor this one r1 divided by sum of all resistor r1 plus r2 okay yeah oh i2 equals okay fine yeah yes yeah, so what remember no huh? nothing it's hard to remember yeah Okay, so you can uh, remember it like this. You can remember it like this. Uh, your uh, I two, your I two will be equal to uh, I times R total. Okay, divided by I two. Yeah. Yes, you can find it like this. Okay. 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 R oh, total. Yes, times total current times resistance of wait total current times total resistance divided by the uh, component resistance. Yeah, component resistance. Okay. But uh, in your book, this this is out of the syllabus. Okay. And mostly in your book, only this rule. Is. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was. Thinking. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, if such like equation come in your exam, then you will use the K KCL rule. Okay. And solve this type of the. numerical okay now let's come towards this numerical so the first question is use ohm law uh using ohm law it is possible to show that the potential difference and resistor are linked by by the equation so simple it means that we need to find the we need to find the uh potential divider rule okay this is the formula for the potential divider rule okay r2 is the equivalent resistor of ra and rb okay 
Yeah, so you can say that this is my R2. Okay. So, uh, where R2 is the command is R using, okay, so using this knowledge to show that we out the command. We out the command. Can we just rearrange it? Apply the KVL. Oh. Yeah, because this is the set for education, okay? This is the final formula. So we need to derive it. How, how, how is this right? It's right. If you apply the voltage divided over here, so your V out, your V out will be equal to your V. What's V one? V one is the voltage across this resistor. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so actually this is uh, uh like the current flowing in I one is equal to the current flowing in I two R two. So I1 is V1 by R1, that is equal to V2 by R2. V2 is the V out of. Do, do you get it? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we need to derive this equation, okay? Actually, this is the voltage divider rule, V out. V out is equal to V in supply voltage times resistor, this resistor, which is R2, divided by sum of our resistor, okay? So we need to derive it. So uh, we will use the KV, KVL. So your V in is equal to V1 plus V2. And V2 is V out. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do, wait, wait, wait. Then we do V1 equals uh no okay Wait. i'll use this v1 is equal to v out times r1 divided by r2 let's try this vn is equal to yes v out so vn equals r1 over r2 v yes v out. Out. yes it will it will work out plus uh v out Yes. So up V out V out will be your common, okay? That should be your common value. So V N equals R one plus R two divided by R two. Yes, V out divided by R two. Over R two. And then if you rearrange you get that. Yeah, we got it. Yes. Okay, yes. So if you want to solve such like a uh, circuit, okay, if you want to solve such like circuit, such like voltage divider circuit, then you will either apply the voltage divider rule, either apply this formula, or you will either use the KVL, okay. So if question come such like okay. that, derive this KVL, so you will take start from this, okay, and we'll go like this. But if question is derived uh, voltage divider rule, then you will come like this from KVL to voltage divider rule, okay. Wait, what? You will go from you will go from KL to voltage divided rule if the circuit is. Yeah, if if the question is like this, there are voltage divider rule, okay? Then you will start from you will take start from KVL and then we'll go toward the voltage divider rule. But if the question is like uh, derive this KV, KVL, then you will take start from this and we'll go in the reverse direction. So hopefully you will. How do we know this? How do we know this? Actually, this is you will remember this. I told you, I told you that if voltage divider, if you want to calculate the resistor, okay, R1, R2, or R3, voltage across R1, R2, or R3, then you will use the voltage divider rule. This is too simple. Most people use this to find the voltage across any resistor. If you want to find the... I use this one, I use that one, this one here. Yeah. This one. Okay, if this laser is R1, this laser is R2, then how you will use this this in this case? And this R1, R2, and this is R2, and this is Vn. Okay, voltage divider rule is too simple. If you want to find V3, okay, V3 is the voltage across R3. So if you want to find this voltage, then you will 
find it simple that is find it like this v3 v3 will be equal to vn okay supply voltage times the resistor this resistor r3 divided by sum of r resistor r1 plus r2 if you want to find this voltage then that is also too simple just multiply vn times r2 divided by sum of r resistor this right right yes yes it's right yes Okay, that's easy. Yeah, this is easy. Okay, instead of going to this complexity. Yeah, they're both easy actually. No, it's not too easy as compared to this. It's, it's oh. much easier. Okay, next question. Okay, given that R A is given to you, R B is also given to you. You need to find R two. So how you will find R two? Uh, okay, wait. Okay, go back to the question. I need to see the diagram. Okay, R A equals five ohms. R B equals is it ten ohms? Yes. And then we need to find R one, right? Yes. Okay. So this will be. No, you need to find R two. Yes, you need to find R two, not R one. Where's R two? R two. Then, then you must read the question. That is what is meant by R two. Okay, wait. <laughs> you... Reading question is boring to you, so that's why. No, where's R two? Where's R one? Where, where's where's R two? We use R two over here. Where's R two? Oh, R one is here. I'm so smart. You see, right? Am I right? R one is here. Yeah. No, this is your R one. No, sorry, R two. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, R two is. I just want the line. The line. Oh. So they are asking to find R one or R two. No, they just, they they ask just to find R two, and hopefully the marks. Mark will be equal to one. That should yes, that is one mark. So you just need to find R two. That's so easy. One over hundred plus no, you... one over five, like that. Yes. So uh, five hundred divided by one zero five. For two resistor, use this scheme, okay? So five hundred divided by uh, use calculator. Do you have? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, five hundred divided by one zero five. Two point seven six. Okay, two point seven six. Yeah, two point seven six. Okay, so two point four. Point, okay, four point eight. Okay, the low, medium, and high setting. Blah blah blah. Uh, v out is six point eight. Uh, each case, uh, calculate R one. Now R two is given to you. Okay, R two is four point seven eight seven six. This is your mm -hmm. R two. Okay, now you have R two. Is that this question is the part of the other question? So the low resistor is what we out for low is six volt. For eight is medium. Eight medium is eight, and for high is ten volt. So for each case, calculate R one. So for each case, we need to calculate R one. So for yeah, I can do. Yes. Yeah. So six equals five point eight. Five point eight. Yeah. V in. What about the V in? V in is given to you or not? Just use the first equation then. This one. Yeah, use that equation. Okay, V one divided by V out is equal to R one divided by R two. R one is four point no, R two is four point seven six, and V one. What about V one? V one is the voltage across this resistor. And V out is also given to you, so we only need to find V one. Yeah. So how you will find V one? V one is not given to you. V out is given to you. That is six. Follow. No, we can find it. Go, we go back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if V out is six volts here. Yeah. Be... What's V in? They don't give V in. Yeah, they don't give V in. Yeah, that's We need V in. We can't do this without V in. Yeah, this is this is this is very complex question. Okay. 
this is a and, 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 and I know it, it, this is this is impossible for you to solve such like this. Which is a question for an, this is a question for an electrical engineer. Yeah, this is a question for electrical engineer, but they make actually there are two unknown. So you will take some sort of assumption in this question. Okay, he called me now. I think we're missing, we're missing something. Let me check the mark. Yeah, you are missing something, yes. And it will take some sort of assumption. So I give you hands. Now, uh, any one student can solve it without taking any sort of help from the electrical engineer. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, look at the marks. Okay. Let me send it to you. It's not good to take help from the marks, but you can, okay. Oh, yeah, this, this question is a bit difficult, and hopefully the question will be question will be okay. Share your own screen because everything will then it will waste a lot of my time to do setting again all these papers. Okay. okay uh, the oh, they give only one marks. Look at the, look at the message on Zoom. I sent you a message on Zoom. Look. Okay, so okay, so the answer is four point seven six. <laughs> yes, uh, medium is two point three eight ohm and high is point nine five ohm. Okay, so why the four point seven six? Okay, so let's solve it. Actually, uh, one voltage is given to you, okay, and we need V one also, okay. If you want, if you if you are going to use this equation. And we only have this. We only have this to use. We only use this equation, okay? So v one, v one is unknown. V out is six volt. R one is uh, unknown, and R two is four point seven six. Okay, if you look at this, uh, this, this circle. So here you have v out. V out is six volt. Yeah. Okay, so I will take an assumption. Okay, what if I take this this voltage across this also equal to six volt, and my supply yeah. voltage will be equal to twelve volt. Oh. What do you think? Is it right? Yeah. Yes. But how? Oh, how do you know you're taking that assumption? Actually, this six volt is given to me. Okay, and this assumption also satisfy my KVL. If I apply KVL, so twelve volt is also equal to six plus six. Why can't you do fourteen here, and then you can put six and eight? Actually, uh, I also want to keep the current to keep the same current in both resistors. Oh. Why? Because it's in series. So what about when this is eight? What happens? If this is eight, then my supply voltage will be equal to something else. But you can't keep changing the supply voltage. Oh yeah, you can. You're right. Let's do that. Mm. Okay. So, uh, and so also, want... this resistor is a variable resistor. Okay, so you can vary this resistor. So if you vary this, and you will get six volt across this. So R1 here equals 4.76 ohms. Let's do it for medium now. Medium. Yes, that's true for medium. Oh, this is for low. This is for medium now. Wait. Medium. Okay. Now look. Okay, for medium we will use the same supply voltage. Okay. We will not change this supply voltage. Actually, this is your hair dryer. Okay. So for hair dryer you can use any supply. You can uh, insert the switch in 12 volt battery, or you can insert the switch in 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 20 volt battery. So they will yeah. uh, respond accordingly. Okay. So I am using 12 volt battery. And so here the voltage will be six volt, and here the voltage will be six volt. On medium, you will use the same voltage, okay? So medium is. Uh, so you can do eight over. I mean. Uh, so medium is eight volt. Over eight equals R one over four point seven six. Therefore, R one equals two point three eight. Yeah, you see, this matches the max key. Where this is four point seven, this is eight. Yes, V out is eight, so this will be equal to eight nineteen. Yeah, that will be equal to four. So solve this this equation. I did. Look, I know okay. the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's equal to one by two and half of four point seven six is two point three eight. Okay. 
and what about yes in mock skin yes there's of 2.38 Perfect. Well done. Electrical engineering. Yes. Okay. And what? Also find it for. <laughs> Actually, this question is very difficult. Okay. For any of us students, this question is very difficult. Because there are two unknown, and in maths we study that we only solve the equation if you have one one unknown. Or if you are unknown is equal to the number of equations. If you have three unknown, and if you have three equations, then you can solve yeah. that unknown. Yeah. But here we have only one equation and two unknown. So that's why we. Move towards the assumption, okay. And then for high, it will be. Uh, that wait. is. What was the voltage for the ten, high? Ten volt. That is ten volt. So it will be two over ten, right? Yes. Equal. So four point seven six divided by five. Therefore, R one equals. R one equals zero point nine five. Yes. And your mock scheme, the answer is zero point nine five. Yeah. That's why I told you this. These papers are not the easier, easier, easiest paper. Okay, these papers are a bit difficult. Right. Okay. So next question, Part D. This is also a part of that question. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, dry on its high setting. For high setting, your V out is equal to 10 volt, and your R2 is equal to 0.95. <clears throat> yeah. So, so we can. You need to find power dissipated across R B. Okay. In time. But... It will be P equals R squared over V. No. Gigi. Is that right? No, it's not right. You did the same mistake. Is, is Sorry. It, is R, yes. Equals ten squared over point nine five. No, point nine five is the equivalent to this of R A and R B. And here you need to find the power dissipated across R B. R B is four point seven six. R B is four point seven six. No, that is R two. This the solution is not too simple, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> so do our type, yeah. So the okay, the circuit is this. So the R R two is the equivalent of this. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. It will be two out ten squared over. What's R B? Everything is in front of you. What's the value of V though? I don't know. I haven't calculated that. Mm. There is R V value. I saw that value. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use another equation. Wait. You are taking assumption? No, I'm going to use. Wait, go back to the question. I'm going to use E equal. There is R B, and that is given to you. Okay, there is R B, and that is given to you. And I also e equals I V. So you can do no. ten ten volts times current. And current is unknown. Current will always remain the same, so it will be twelve volts divided by total resistance. Using using that formula, P is equal to V squared divided by R is correct. Okay. So your V is equal to 10. V square will be equal to 100. RB is given to you, and RB is in front of you. I underlined that. Oh, sorry, let me look. I'm blind. Wait. <laughs> uh, you, use glasses. No, I, I, I also use glasses nowadays. Yes, yeah, same. But I don't wear it because it's annoying me, and my mom's always shouting. It's an... I need to wear glasses actually. Thanks for reminding. <laughs> yeah, you. You must. Okay, I underlined it. I underlined. I underlined R B. Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh my god. Everything is in front of you, so that's why I told you that use glasses. Okay, next lesson I will show my glasses already. Okay, so your power will be equal to ten squared. It will be one. 
Yeah, okay, one more. Okay, good. Okay, uh, now you also need to find another thing, and that is the yeah. time. Okay, now look. Look, look. One, one. Okay, wait. Zero point one time. Three thousand divided by time. Therefore, time equals three hundred seconds. Okay, so uh, which is five minutes? Point one. Look, this is right. The mock scheme says the same. Let's go to the next question. I got it right. Okay, next question. How would your answer change if R B was lower? Uh, okay, wait. If R B is lower. Okay, if if such like question come like that, if R B is lower or if I B is higher, then you will take the ideal value like R B is equal to zero. Or well, we could just use the equation. If R B is lower, then B P equals V squared R. So if R is lower, P P will be greater. So yeah. if P will, if P will be greater, then P equals energy over time. Then T will be lower. The so time will be quicker. Then what will be the quicker? Time. Yes, time will be the quicker. Sorry, no, time will be long. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Okay. If R B is lower, if you decrease the value of R B, then as you see that R B is connected in parallel to R A. So is it affect R two? What's what R two? R two is the parallel. Resultant resistor of R A and R B. Oh. Wait, what's the question again? What answer? How would you answer change if R B has got lower? Why is this? Wait, what's what answer? Okay, so if if you decrease the value of R B, okay, if you decrease the value of R B, then total resistance will increase. Total resistance will increase if they are connected in series. In no, in parallel. Oh, no, no. Sorry, wait. Or total will increase. R A plus R B. So if you decrease this, your R total will get decreased in series. Okay. Yeah, but I know in parallel is opposite. I know that. It's opposite. So yeah. It if both resistors are equal, if both resistors are equal, then your equivalent resistor will be equal to what? That should uh, be equal to hmm? multiply product of half of any resistor. Half of any resistor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A or B. It means that your equivalent resistor will be lower than R B and lower than R A. Okay, and that is the half. Okay. <clears throat> If this resistor is one ohm and this resistor is 0.1 ohm, then your equivalent resistor will be less than the lowest resistor. That is 0.1 ohm. Yeah. Okay. In in parallel, that should be less than the lowest resistor, and in series, that will be greater than the R A resistor and that will be greater than R B resistor. Because if you connect these two resistors in series, then your resultant will be equal to 1.1. So 1.1 is greater than R A and 1.1 is also greater than R B. So it will yeah, yeah, equivalent resistor will give you greater value, and uh, in parallel it will give you less value. So if you decrease R B, it will decrease your R R two as well. Okay. Yeah. So if R two decrease, then V out will also decrease. Voltage across this resistor will also decrease. Then yeah. It, it means there is a more dissipation in this resistor. No, but R one and R B and these two are the same. These are not same. Yeah, when the five when the ohm and hundred ohm. Wait. 
think about it if you have any confusion you can ask uh, it's related to your 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 yeah you're right you're right you're right r total will be yes r total r2 will get degrees yeah yeah so if r2 is a uh, get degrees then it means that v out will also get degrees v out is the voltage across this these resistors yeah because voltage voltage is proportional to resistance yeah and also voltage proportion to uh, this if r2 degrees then this will also decrease so if this is decrease it means v1 get increase yeah so what do you think what will happen but the question is how will it affect the power not the voltage okay so how it will affect the power so your power will get work power across this will be equal to uh, current times v out so current in this is the same and here the current is same okay let's say this is r2 yeah so uh, p is equal to iv so if v out decrease then the power will also get decrease yeah so power get decrease so right all these things. yeah because p equals v squared over r so you got to increase sorry 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 that that p is equal to iv i use this again p is equal to iv but current will change oh wait no uh, Actually, you... actually, okay. Where, 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 where? Actually, the point is where you will use this formula and where you will use this formula. Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. you will use this formula. Please go to I V, and you will use this formula. This will you will use this formula in series. Because oh. the same, so your power will be directly proportional to voltage. This you will use in parallel because voltage will be same. So you can say that my power is inversely proportional to resistance. So this is in series. This is the series circuit. So you will use this relation. Current is same, so P out decrease, then P will also get decrease. But it's not series circuit; it's parallel. It is series circuit. If this is R one, and okay. this is R two, and I say that R two is different combination of R A and R B. Yeah, 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 I get it. So I didn't say all these slides. It's fine. It's fine. You don't need to. So okay. in you also know all these, these questions, these the all these answers, okay? And I, oh, I, I think it will be good if you take prints of all these papers, then you can write on, on paper. You can write. Okay, so, I will do that. Yeah, because, do. because it will help you a lot in your final exam preparation. Uh, so in series circuit, you use P equals I V. In parallel, you use P equals V square over R. Because in uh, P is equal to V square over R, there is no I. Yeah, you're right. But we, we go to stop, stop. Wait, down, 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 down. down. down 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 this up yeah wait up i want to look at part d part part d yeah there uh this is the power dissipated across rb so it p equals v squared over Is it R B here? Yes. So you're not taking into account the parallel combination. Actually, wait, wait, wait. So how? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Actually, I told you if you want to find the relation, if you want to see the relation between P and V, that if I increase V, then what will happen on power? Okay. So you will use this relation for series because in series the current will be same. So if you increase power, then your voltage will also get increased. Yeah. But if you want to find the relation between power and resistor in in parallel, so you will use this equation. This is equal to V square by R. So here we have voltage. So voltage is same in parallel. So your power, if you increase power, then your resistor will get degrees. But if you want to find yeah. the numerical value, okay, if you want to find the numerical value, then you can use any equation. Is either P is equal to V square by R. It depends on the given data. Okay, if R B is given to you, P is given to you, so you can find voltage. If if Current is given to you. Voltage is uh, P is given to you, so you can find voltage from this equation. So no, but current will change in in parallel, so you can't yeah. use that. Yeah, yeah, but it actually it depends on the given. If you want to find the numerical value, then it depends on the value that which value is given to you. Okay, so for power you have three formulas, so it depends on the value. But if you want to find the relation, find the 
relation, uh, either inverse relation or direct relation, then you will use this strategy that you will use this in series because the current will remain same. So this will give you the relation between P and V. You can use this relation in series because this relation gives you power and resistance. You use this relation in parallel because this will give you power and resistor relation. But if you want to use to uh, find the relation between power and current to see the relation between power and current, then for parallel you will use this formula because in parallel voltage will be the same, so your power will be directly voltage to current. Okay, and I have another question for this. Okay, the power dissipated across all the. Uh, does R B equal R two? No. R two is the parallel combination of R A and R B. Which is the same. We're not free. Um, okay, but then why is it that in part E, if you go scroll down and you go to part E, you was you're saying that the if 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 R B decrease then R2 will decrease. Why did you say that? If, if, no, do you understand yes. what I'm going to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Like, why are you talking about the parallel component in part E when we didn't even use the parallel component in part B? Okay, so first you, you need to understand that what is, what is RB and what is R2? R2 is the parallel combination. Of yes, parallel combination of RA and RB. Okay, yeah. so, so if you decrease RB, then R2 will also decrease. Yes, R2 will get also decrease. Yes. Yeah, but the question is how would your answer change if the RB was lowered? So how would the time taken change? Uh, if, okay, no, if, uh, if, okay, 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 got it. So we, we only calculate the power. So we also need to calculate the time. No, I'm not talking about that. Okay, so they said that how your answer will get changed if you uh, you decrease the RB value, right? Yeah, so why were you talking about parallel component? Because we didn't even use the parallel component in part D. So why are you talking about parallel component in part D? I don't understand. Like, why? How does. I don't know. Actually, uh, this is too simple. If, actually, here, if you decrease R2, okay? If you decrease RB, then your R2 will get decreased. So it means V out will also get decreased because V out is the voltage across R2. Yeah. Okay. So that means go back to part D then. Go back to part D. Then for that means for part D we should have done look, let me show you. For part D we should have done P equals V squared over R2. But but we did P equals V squared over R B. Okay. So your question is why not why not we use p is equal to v square by r two instead of using p is equal to v square by r b? Yeah, yeah, that's my question. Okay, okay. So the question is calculate the power dissipated across r b. Okay, okay. Uh, this resistor is five ohm. This resistor is hundred ohm. Right? This yeah. is given to me. Voltage across this resistor is same, and voltage across this resistor is also same. Yeah. And V is equal to IR. So voltage is same. So it means current is inversely proportional to resistor. Constant. Yeah. Okay. So current will remain same in both resistor or it will be diff different. 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 So here resistor is less. IA will be high. I will I IA will have a higher value. Here resistor is greater. I will will have a lower value. Power dissipated in this resistor will be different from the power dissipated in this resistor. Yeah. Okay. So your power dissipated across R B that will be equal to uh, you will use this formula P is equal to V square by R B. Okay. But if you want to find the power dissipated in this resistor plus the power dissipated in this resistor, then you will use this formula P is equal to V square by R two. That will give you the power dissipated in this resistor plus the power dissipated in this resistor because this is R2. So either you say either your question should be like this that calculate the power dissipated in R2 resistor, then you will use this formula. V out will be your voltage. Or you can uh, you can say you can ask the question like this that find the power dissipated on RB resistor plus the power dissipated in RA resistor. 
But if the question is like this, find the power dissipated in R B, you will use this formula. Or if the question is like this, find the power dissipated in R A, you will use this formula. V P is equal to V out divided by R A. I thought the power will be the same dissipated in R B and R A. No, that that will not be same because R B is different. In this case, it is hundred, so V out is same. For both cases, V out is same. In this case, R B is hundred. In this case, R A is five. So power will be different in these three. So voltage will remain same because these are the parallel combination. But then afterwards, when it is P equals energy over time, yes, the power we use will it be R B or R two? That, that is the RB power dissipated in RB. That will give you the time of the RB resistor. Okay, then okay. So now my question is: In part E, they said uh, if B, if RB is lowered, how will it affect the time, right? Uh -huh. So you said that uh, it will affect the time because if RB is lower, uh -huh. RT will be lower. So if RT will be lower, I mean R one, sorry R two, R two. So if R two would be lower, then power will be um, higher, right? So time will be lower. That's what you said. If R two is lower, yes. But then yes. why why are you including R two? Because the question, because you just told me now that the power will be calculated through R B. So actually, this step shouldn't be included because power links to R B, not R two. Because you understand what I'm trying to say now. Yes. I got. The power links to R B, not R two. But in the box scheme, it says it says if R B is lower, then R two will be reduced because of parallel nature. I don't understand why they're talking about R two because R two doesn't link to the power. That's why I was so confused. Okay, so the question is, uh, if R B get decreased. Then find the power. Then what will be its effect on power? Okay, and time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you decrease R B, okay, then yeah. your R two will get decrease. Why it will get decrease? Yeah, I know, but I thought that it, I thought power equals I thought power refers to R B because in part D it says calculate the power from R B. So we need V squared over R B. We're not doing. We're not doing this. We're doing this. If R B get decrease, then your power will get increase. Power across this resistor will get increase. I don't understand if these two factors are independent. This and this. Let's leave it. Let's go to the next one. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I got it. Okay. So your question is why don't I why don't I use this equation for finding the relation between R B and P instead of using this relation? Right. Yeah. So if you decrease R B according to question, if you decrease R B, then the power dissipated in this resistor will get increase. Yeah. So that's. And the, power dissipated in this resistor will get decrease. It it yeah. will it will get the same power. So power dissipated in this resistor will get increase, and power dissipated in this resistor will get increase. So how will that affect the time? You you didn't get it. Actually, uh, the question is: If R B get decreased, then what will be its effect on this here drive? It means the supply voltage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you if you uh, if you decrease R B, and you keep the same voltage, okay, so same current will flow in this resistor and in this resistor. But if you decrease R B, then the power dissipated in this resistor will get increased because the same current is flowing. If this is ten ampere. Then let's say in this case that is a uh, less current will flow in this resistor that is less, let's say two ampere and eight ampere will flow in this resistor, okay? Because the resistor is high, here the resistor is low, so majority current will flow in this resistor. So if you decrease R B, then let's say five ampere, yeah, six ampere will cannot flow in this resistor, and here four ampere cannot will flow. So if you decrease the R B, then you the power dissipated in this resistor will get increased. Voltage is same in both cases. V out is same. V out is same. So power dissipated in this resistor will get increased. Why increase? Because current get increased from from decreasing the value of R B. But here the power dissipated in this resistor will get decreased because current decreased from eight value to four ampere. Yeah. Got it. But the question is, if I decrease R B, then what it what's it effect on the supply voltage over here? 
So the answer is. What's the you, effect of time? Well, if you decrease R B, then your R two uh, actually R two is the equivalent tensor of these two resistors. Yeah. So the R two value will, will get decreased, and that will be lower than R B. Yeah. Okay. So your R two get decreased, then power dissipated in this resistor will get decreased because current is same. 10 ampere current is flowing in in R2. You can say in R2 current is 10 ampere. Yeah. So current is same. So P is equal to I V. So V out should increase. Actually, uh, V out will get decreased. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 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 My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Decrease. Decrease. Okay, so uh, your current will get uh, your wait. If uh... okay, please can we go to the next question? It's fine. I don't want to read this question. Okay, wait, wait. If R two get decrease, if R two get decrease, V out is same in both case. So if R two get decrease, then the power dissipated. I'm so confused now. Okay, uh, current is same in both resistor. This is R two, and this is R one. So, in current is same is same in both resistor. So, uh, P is equal to I square R. We have this reaction, and another reaction is P is equal to I V. So, current is same. So, P is directly proportional to R. So, if I decrease R one, then the power dissipated in this resistor will get decreased. If I decrease R two, then the power dissipated in this resistor will get decreased. So, here R two get decreased, then P will also get decreased, and P is equal to I V. So P is directly proportional to V. So if R, R B get decreased, then the V out will also get decreased. So if V out get decreased, then the power dissipated in this whole resistor will also get decreased. Oh, okay. And if your power get decreased, then your time will also will get increased. Yeah. It will take more time. It will take more time. So fulfill your uh, your all your 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 work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next question. Um. Okay. So for using you to modulate the power output given FX power supply. Okay. Design a potential divider circuit which decreases V out as temperature rises. So what you will do? Hmm. So, Actually, uh, so what you do? If you increase the temperature, then your current should should get, which decrease V out as temperature rises. Temperature rises, then the current should also be rises, uh, which decrease or increase V out. Which decrease without as the temperature rises. That's hard. Which decrease uh, be out. So what you will do? Okay, wait. Let's think. Wait, we need to design a circuit where V out will be decreased, right? Yes. So we can... As temperature rises. Mm. You 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 will need to connect something. Resistor sensitive device. LDR is the light sensitive device. Maybe a thermistor. Yeah, thermistor is a semiconductor. Okay, let's also explain a little bit uh, what you mean by thermistor. Actually, thermistor. We have two types of thermistor. Thermistor is a temperature sensitive device. One thermistor is known as uh, NTC, and another thermistor is known as PTC. Yeah. In NTC, if you increase the temperature, your current will get decreased. Sorry, your current will get increased. Your sorry, your resistor will get decreased. If you increase temperature, your resistor will get decreased. Simple, your resistor, uh, your current will be decreased. 
and in PTC, actually in the NTC is the negative temperature coefficient. Yeah. Coefficient of resistor. So negative temperature means that if you increase resistor, your temperature will be decreased. This is positive temperature coefficient. Coefficient of resistor. It means if you increase resistor, your temperature will get increased. Okay. So this is PTC and this is NTC. So here we will use NTC or okay. Here I will use the thermistor. And the, we represent the thermistor like this. Why can't we use a yaw? Actually, uh, from this, this is the resistor where I will use the output. I will use, I will connect the, I will use the output from this resistor. Yeah, why can't you put a thermistor? So thermistor I will connect over here. How do you know? Why not there? Actually, this is the output. Actually, here, uh, this is the output where you will connect your bulb, okay? So RB is the resistor of RB, uh, or where you will connect your heater. Uh, such device will generate heat and will drive your here. You can connect over here, but you will use PTC. Okay, so if you connect the mixer over here, okay, and uh, the question is, uh, if we outgive degrees, then what will be its effect on what? As temperature rises, uh, the design position will decrease the out as temperature rises. So the out will get decreased if you uh, RB is fixed, okay? RB is fixed and RA is fixed. So on, we, have, we have only one option and that is the current, okay? Through current, we can decrease or increase the out. Yeah. R is fixed. This is 100 ohm and this is 5 ohm. And we can only uh, we can vary the resistor by using the thermistor, by, by using by by using the temperature. Uh, yeah, but like how do you know if it has to be there, not there? I think you will connect the thermistor over here. Why not there? Okay, you said that I will connect the thermistor over here. Okay, let's say connect that thermistor over here. Let's try it. Okay, I connect the thermistor over here, and temperature get increased. And this thermistor is PTC or NTC? NTC. Okay, NTC. So temperature rises, resistor will get decreased. So if this yeah. resistor will get decreased, then there will be more dissipation in this this resistor because the supply voltage is same. If this is 12 volt, here the uh, voltage will increase. Here. If you put a thermistor here, the voltage here will increase. Yes, the voltage here will get increased as temperature rises. Yeah, and we don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, fine. I got it. So I think you will connect a uh, thermistor over here. So if you connect thermistor over here and your temperature get increased, your resistor will get decreased. So if your resistor get decreased, then more current will flow in this resistor instead of turning over here. Yeah. Then your V out will get decreased. Yeah, that is the right. Yeah, got it. So the answer will be here. Yeah. So you'll use thermistor over here and you will explain it, okay, properly, because otherwise your teacher will not be there to. You okay, fine. Let me <laughs> let me explain it. When the time is here and the temperature temperature will increase, then the voltage here will increase. What is the same? Because both are currently in parallel. What am I saying? Wait. Okay, uh, for example, you should note all these points on page, okay? Wait, can you explain that again? Why do you okay, need to... if I connect thermistor over here on the left side, okay? Then in, but then by increasing temperature, my RA resistor will get decreased. Yeah. So if RA resistor will decrease, then more current will flow across the RA resistor. If this current is 10 ampere, and here the current, then current will flow 8 ampere and 2 ampere current will flow instead of 4 ampere or 5 ampere. Yeah, I, I get, can, can I explain it in this way? If the temperature in this RA will increase, then the uh, if the temperature will increase, then the current will increase. If the current will increase here, then uh, the total resistance will decrease here. In here, if this resistance in RA decreases, the total resistance will increase. If the total resistance will increase, the V out will decrease. Actually, uh, you, you you don't say like this. If uh, temperature increase, then R A, uh, then current will get increased. Don't say like this, okay? I meant I meant if temperature. Uh, increases then the car, then the resistance will decrease. Yes, if correct. The yes. So the resistance of R A decreases, the total resistance will increase because one over R A plus one over R B equals one over R total. 
if this is decreased, if R A get decreased, then the total resistor will get decreased. So if the total resistor decreases, then V out will also decrease. Yeah, V out will also get decreased. Yeah, you can say like this. Okay, fine. And I don't know. Uh, sorry, I, I kept mixing it up. I don't know why. Just ignore me. I kept. Okay, where? <laughs> I kept mixing it. Like I understood it, but I kept saying it in the wrong way. Okay, so, okay. Actually, it's a point. I I want to clear that point. Hopefully, from that point, you will get uh, uh, the no, answer of your conclusion. Okay. Uh, actually, if temperature get in, if uh, if temperature get increased. Okay, write like this. R A decrease. I A increase. I B decrease, V out decrease. R B is same as it is. Got it? Yeah. Okay. My so okay. My right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the point is, voltage. These two are connected in parallel. So if voltage is same, voltage across these two resistor will be same. So if temperature increase, then R A will get decrease. Then what about the voltage? Voltage will also get decrease across this. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. <laughs> so uh, okay, not not this relation. Okay. Wait, I don't get the link between this and this. Okay, not this equation. Think about it and. Uh, after class, think about it. Okay, this one. If I increase R, if I R A will get decreased, so more current will flow across this resistor. So automatically, this current will get decreased. If this increase, this will decrease. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Decrease, right. According this... to KCL law, that's why. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Just... Yeah. Uh, after <laughs> think about this. Okay. After the class, think about it. If you have any confusion in tomorrow class, we will discuss that. Okay. We have so much to go through tomorrow. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, we still have two more topics to go through. So. Okay, so uh, part G, last part. You you don't you have so much time. Yeah. In ten, in ten minutes. Okay, bye. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Three seventeen. Okay. Let's do this question. Then I will go. Okay. So okay. read this question. Okay. Instantly read this question. Okay. Okay. You read question like this? Yeah, I read it. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Good idea. Draw it first. Then... Uh -huh. 500 ohms. Uh, 5 volt. Okay, read the question. Okay. Is it uh, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. The paint meter dispenses paint when V out exceeds twenty-eight volts. Calculate the maximum resistance of the LDR when lines are being painted. Uh... Okay. okay so... mm, wait. Oh, we just have to do ratio. So twenty-eight over thirty equals. Okay. I, I will explain it. Okay. okay, if V out is uh, greater than 28, then what will happen? Then this the paint will be yeah dispensed. Yeah, then the painter will get uh, will get activated. Okay, then the machine will get activated. If V out is greater than 28. Okay, let's say if V out is equal to 30 volt, then there will be no dissipation in this resistor. Your R will be equal to zero. That, is the, that is the minimum resistor. Yeah, okay, because all voltage drop across this 30 volt drop across this 500 ohm resistor. Okay, but we yeah. want, we need to find the maximum value of R. So it means I, I I need to increase this this value. So if I increase R, so it means V R will also get increased. Voltage across this LDR will also get increased. So if let's say V out is equal to 28, painter will get uh, painter will get uh, activated when V out is equal to 28 or greater than 28. So let's say this voltage is 28. So That's why you have to do 28 over... 2 volt will drop across this. Where yeah. So we need to find this resistor. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's uh, use the voltage divider rule. So uh, this resistor... No, this resistor... No. 
two voltage use the total volt, voltage divider rule. This two volt that is given to me, okay, that is equal to 30 supply voltage times the resistor across this, that is R, divided by summation of R resistor, R plus. Okay, I, got, I got the answer, I got the answer. Easy. So this, it will be 36. How you calculate the answer instantly? Let me, let me show you. I did 28 divided by 30. Look, I did this. So quick. 28 divided by 30. So why then you, did five, why huh? you are you are the 28 divided by 30? Because to find the potential, this is a potential divider. Yeah, this is the potential divider and RT is the total resistor. Yeah, RT is the total resistance. So once you do... But, but 40, the is find the R, R value. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So after this step, you have to do 500 minus... Um, you have to do RT minus 500, then you will get the answer. And the answer will be 36. RT minus 500? Yeah. Yeah, good, yes. And I, I checked the box key and I got it right. Yes, good. But let me... Wait, show me your method. Okay, this show is me. my method. Okay, uh... Actually, the uh, uh, voltage, let's say that is Vr. So, what if you use voltage divider rule, then Vr is equal to V out supply voltage time resistor. So, this resistor is R divided by oh, some. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, so it's... V out V out is 30 and R is this. And Vr is given to you. This voltage is 2 volt. So, 2R plus 1000 is equal to 30R. So, that should be equal to uh, 28R is equal to 1000. So, R is equal to 1000 divided by 28. Yeah, you get 36. Yeah, yeah. So that, okay, that's equal to both, both of our methods work. Yeah, both of our methods work. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Yeah, Allah Hafiz. Have a great time, Mustafi. Okay, Allah. thank you, Allah Hafiz. Uh, uh,